Okay, I got cut off there uh, a little earlier than I wanted. What we are working on is the eyeball up here, if we can show that to you. And, um, well, the face, actually. So what I did was I went ahead and cleaned up some of the uh, top here. So when, when you cut this out, you need to cut it out underneath as well, okay? Just as you see here. So we're going to just chop a little bit of this off. Just round it up a little bit more. All right. And then, here's where the eye is going to go. And this sits underneath. So what I did was I made a little line there, a little curvature line. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut that out. So I want to be very careful. Well, maybe I'll do it from this side. Try to keep this so you guys can see it. Just going to cut it underneath, just like so. Okay? Just like that. I'm going to take that little ridge off as well. There, I'm just going to kind of round that off, off a little bit. Now, in the beginning when I started to tell you how to do this project, you can make it as fancy as you want. You can just cut out what I'm going to be cutting out here in a little bit. Um, or you can take a wood burner and burn everything in. And I'm going to probably do it with the wood burner. I'm going to do it, uh, show you how to do it a simple way. If you don't have a wood burner, what you can do. And also the more difficult way uh, to do it. Now, as you see right here, we have a... Um, good, I have a pencil here. We have the eye that will go in right over here. So I'm going to do like a half an eye in there, just like so, okay? That's what I'm going to use a wood burner a little bit later. I'm going to extend that out a little further. And just get that ridge. Now you can use a knife and go around and notch it out like do a stop cut around and then take the point of your knife and just uh, do like a little V cut all the way around to uh, have that eye stick out a little bit more okay if you if you want to do it that way um, what I'm gonna do next is um, where the if I can back this up just a tad here um, where this the white portion of his head you know he's got that white head we're just going to put a line down like this and do it random kind of some a little bit longer than others and some shorter try to get try to have more of a realistic look to it okay and uh, maybe we'll do it that way okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just follow that I'm going to put a stop cut from the top over. I'm just going to go up to every line across. You don't have to go real deep, okay? And then I'm going to turn it the other way and I'm going to go down. Try to match up those two. And I'm going to redo that where those corners meet. Okay, that's the hard part. Getting those little corners. And that's where you want to stick your knife in kind of far. Make sure you got a clean cut. Now you're going to take the edge point of your knife and you're going to go up. I usually do the centers first, just like so. Okay, I make the here a little deeper up here at the top than what is down here. Okay, I'm going to go around and I'm going to do each one of those. So that's really distinguished differently than the body. Okay, I'm going to go over here and we're going to do this side. Just like so. 
try not to chip it out like with your knife like poke it out if it doesn't come out clean you go back and you recut it you want to make sure you don't have any little uh, areas there all right so that's what I'm doing I'm just going back and slivering a little piece off at each end all right so that's that portion of it all right, folks, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lines in. We're going to do the feathering on here. It's tucked. Let me show you this real quick. It's tucked. If I, if I can show you this. It's up and around. And this is like the ridge of the, and we taper it off, okay? Just like that. I'm going to round this off. I'm going to round these off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a little stop cut and cut underneath. So um, let me do one wing and you can do the other wing later. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do this one over here this time. All right, so we're going to take a little stop cut up and around. And remember, I turn it the other way to get in that corner. We're going to take it out and around. All right, and I'm going to undercut that. If I have one of my uh, carved eagles here, I'll show you why. That's a little bit of a ridge. It's like the front part of his his wing. Not hard for me to hang on. <sighs> See that? Okay. We're going to just round this off. We're going to just do a little stop cut around. like so and then we're going to round off this portion here just a little bit I'm not really going to sand this I'm going to just kind of go with it the way it is that you can tell it's carved but it's going to be kind of neat and decent we're going to do a lot of our, our sanding with the knife or clean up things with our knife okay so you want to do the other you want to do the other wing the same way okay as I did over here and then I'm going to probably put I think I'm going to carve this out and then wood burn it but you can folks if you want to you can you can do this ridge and then do a couple of lines across I'll show you in the next section and then you can be done with the actual carving and just paint the head uh, white and the bill that golden color or that yellow golden color and brown and white for the tail but we're not done with the tail yet so we need to do the tail and, and the wings yet and uh, we'll be back